Hi everyone, welcome back to Learnomad Technologies YouTube channel. My name is Ankush Thodi and in our today's lecture, we will be discussing about Oracle Rack Cache Fusion. This is also one of the most important entry question in Oracle Rack and most of the time, whenever people are going for an interview, this is kind of frequently asked question. So, you need to watch this video till the end so that you can expect a very good package by explaining this answer. In order to make you understand, I'm considering that this is a two node rack setup. So this is my node one where my instance one is running. And this is my node two where my instance number two is running. Okay, now this is a place where my database is stored, which contain my SP file, control files, data files, and it is available under the ASM storage. This database is shared in between node one and node two. Now, what is the role of Cache Fusion? So Cache Fusion is basically useful when you want to transfer a data from one node to another node so that you don't need to read a data from the disk. I'll tell you one example. Let's take an example. There is a user one. He got connected to the node one. Okay. And this is a location where my data is available. Let's say the data is 100. Now, user one is firing the command like select star from table name. So he is saying that I want to select this record. Which record? This record. So, what will happen? This 100 will come from the database to the SGA here because this is the SGA part, right? So, 100 will come over here. Fine. Now, assume a situation that same block is also accessible by another user but from the node 2 so there is a user 2 he got connected and he is also saying that he want to access this 100 now when user 2 got connected and he is also expecting a same data now there are two chances are there because the data is available here in the database which is a part of disk and the same data is also available in the sga of node 1 so in that situation what will happen the data from the SGA, which is from node 1, will transfer to here. So, 100 will be transferred from node 1 to node 2 and it will not take the data from the disk. I will tell you the reason behind that. Because whenever you are transferring a data from one node to another node or I can say from one SGA to another SGA through the interconnect. Interconnect is basically your private network. This is a private network. And this private network is very, very fast. And the process which is transferring the data from one node to another node, we call it as a cache fusion. And this is possible with the help of private interconnect in between node 1 and node 2. What is the good? Okay. What is the benefit of cache fusion? Since we have a cache fusion concept available in the Oracle rack environment, we don't need to read the data from the disk from here because Reading a data from the disk is very costly operation when I'm comparing it, passing a data from one node to another node through the private interconnect. This is like a sharing a data in between node one to node two. Internally, this cache fusion is managed by the multiple processes. So one important process, we call it as a GRD. So what is this GRD? GRD is basically global resource directly. Sorry. GRD is basically global resource directory. Now, if anyone is asking for any data, let's say node 1 is asking for 100, that 100 information will be updated under the global resource directory. So global resource directory will have information that there is an instance 1 which has requested the 100 and he is holding a block of that 100 data that information will be stored under the GRD. If anyone is trying to make the update to this 100, that information will be stored under the GRD, which is a global resource directory. Which node is holding what data, everything will be updated under GRD. So global resource directory, as the name suggests, whatever the resources which are available inside your cluster and who is holding that resources, every information will be updated over here. There is another process, we call it as a GCS, Global Cache Service. This is 
the service or this is the background process or this is the process which is mainly responsible to move your data from one node to another node or to transfer your data from one node to another node by using a global cache service. And there is one more service is there. We call it as a GES, Global NQ Service. This is also playing a very, very important role to create a lock on your data block. By using this process, the cache fusion concept plays a very, very important role. If the cache fusion concept is not there, there is a chance that you may have inconsistent data throughout the cluster. I'll tell you one more example. Let's say there is a 100 is available here. Okay. Now, someone got connected. So, user 1 got connected to the node 1. So, this 100 will come over here. Okay. Now, assume a situation that someone modified this 100 from 100 to 200. Right. This 100 got modified by the user 1 to 200. So, here 100 got modified with 200. I can see that. Still, the commit has not done. Or this changes is not available under the data file. It's not available in the database. On the same time, on the same time, there is user 2. He got connected from the node 2. And he is saying that, what he is saying? I want to select the data. I want to select the data. Now, whether he will get 100 or he will get 200, that is also one important part, right? So, he should get 100 only because still the changes has not been written over here into the data files. So, he will get 100 only. So, this is possible with the help of the GRD process because this GRD know that who, who is owning this 100. So, node 1 is owning this 100 and still the changes have not been committed. It's not available in the data file or database. So, he should not get 200 that the second person should not get 200. Otherwise, that will be inconsistent. So basically, in a very simple word, what I can say, cache fusion is a concept which is mainly responsible to transfer a data from one node to another node. You can have node 3 also or you can have n number of nodes. So this is possible with the help of global cache fusion. Sorry. This is possible with the help of cache fusion, which is mainly useful to have a consistent data throughout the cluster. I know that you have understood this concept very, very well. And I know that you have liked this video too much. I know that you people are also like the LearnerMate video. That is the reason we have 22,000 plus subscribers available on our YouTube channel. But again, there are many people. They also want to start their career as a Oracle DBA. Then reach out to the LearnerMate team. We have offline classes also available. Online classes also available. We have classes available in English also. We have classes available in Hindi also. We have everything. We are just waiting for you. If you don't want to spend money, just subscribe to this channel. There are many, many, many free videos are available on our YouTube channel. And if you want to know more about next video, and if you want to see this thing practically, you just need to subscribe to this channel and let me know in the comment section that you need the next video. I'll create a video on it. You let us know what you need. We are there to help you out. Please do like, subscribe and share this channel. Again, we do provide the different, different technologies training also. Not only just Oracle DBA, we have Rag DBA, Golden Gate, Data Science, Data Analyst, everything. You tell me what you need and we have expertise with each and every technologies. So I'm waiting for you to comment on this video. I'm waiting for you to like this video. Thank you.